in last our introductory lecture i have given you that is a brief idea about the cardiovascular system and what is the importance of the cardiac muscle they are very unique in the nature you can see from the figure how they are arranged and the once again i repeat it is a diffuse structure as compared to the skeletal muscle tissue and the smooth muscle tissue so what we are going to discuss today is these are the the comparative properties of these three muscles skeletal muscle smooth muscle and the cardiac muscle so what is the basic function of this all three muscle now first let us see skeletal muscle its function is the motility that is the movement of the body movement of any organism smooth muscle that it helps here for internal lining of the organs and cardiac muscle which are present only in the heart they here help for so maintaining normal circulation of the blood in our body all these muscles are having three say that is the basic properties collectively that is say excitability conductivity contractility in the contractility as i have told you skeletal muscles are say voluntary in their contraction and the rest of the muscle smooth muscle and the cardiac muscle they are involuntary the other say important say property which i have told about say that is skeletal muscle is that they are multinucleated and these all nuclei are situated at periphery in case of smooth muscle these are unicellular and say their nucleus nucleus is placed centrally in case of cardiac muscle also what you will observe is that it is unicellular and the position of the nucleus is central one then other important thing we know that skeletal muscle and the cardiac muscle are little bit say that is striated means mainly skeletal muscles are say cross striated or striations are present they are very prominent and they are also say present in the cardiac muscle but however they are say minima or you may say they are totally absent in the smooth muscle and hence they are called as a smooth muscles second important thing is that that is regarding the property of the contractility we have seen the skeletal muscle can generate a rapid force of contraction okay as compared to say that is the remaining two muscle smooth muscle produce sustained type of the contraction and they contract very so slowly and as compared to this say that is the nature of the contraction in this two muscle skeletal and smooth muscle the property of cardiac muscle is very unique the contraction is rhythmic and is rapid now we have also seen that say that is regarding the property of refractory period the duration of the refractory period is very less in case of the skeletal muscle that of smooth muscle it is said that it is more than say 1 second means that is about 1000 say second and cardiac muscle its duration is about 200 to 300 say that is the millisecond and hence they are called generally a long refractory period what is the it's important that all of you know that in the refractory period now due to the short refractory period now hardly say you may find here say that is about say uh, approximately in case of skeletal muscle it is about say uh, we say that is about 10 to uh, 10 10 to say 30 milliseconds and here due to the shorter duration of the refractory period skeletal muscle can be say titanized they can be fatigued but however in case of say smooth muscle and that is cardiac muscle the duration of refractory period is longer and here the property of titanus and fatigue is not observed to observed very significantly and hence it is mentioned in the property number 7 that is in case of skeletal muscle due to their short refractory period that is they can be titanized they can be fatigued in case of smooth muscle they can be titanized fatigued is possible but it is very difficult to demonstrate in case of smooth muscle now in the cardiac muscle it is very unique property due to its long refractory period they cannot be titanized they cannot be fatigued at all then in case of say skeletal muscle we say that contraction is neurogenic means that is under nervous control system in smooth muscle and the cardiac muscle 
we say these contractions are that is the myogenic mean the muscle can generate their own impulses they and produce excitation of say that is the muscle and then it is followed by contraction in case of skeletal muscle say that is the fibers are not branch in smooth muscle say they are absent but however in the cardiac muscle very often i am telling you they are say diffusely branch or they are they are having say multiple branching of their fibers how the skeletal muscles are stimulated they are stimulated by motor nerves in smooth muscle say the muscles are under control of autonomic nervous system and are innervated by motor unit they are self stimulated but in case of say cardiac muscle they are stimulated by space maker I mean as we know that very shortly we are going to see here the some of the say the types of the say that is a cardiac muscle I mean say they are broadly divided at this stage i will tell you that is there are two types of the cardiac muscle we call mainly working muscle mean which say contract and that is the muscles which generate electric impulses and they conduct the impulses and these are the muscles what we call as a pacemaker cell means in short say the cardiac muscles are stimulated by that is pacemakers and we know that that is the initial pacemaker which is present in the say heart is that is that is the sinoatrial node now regarding the structural aspect in skeletal muscle we know that aij bands are present they are also present in the smooth muscle and they are also present in the cardiac muscle now coming to the their duration of the action potential now what is this say property of action potential if you remember that you have studied so membrane potential action potential is what the change which is occurring in say that is the polarized state of the membrane or i would say that say it is a, a wave of depolarization followed immediately by say that a wave of repolarization that is what we call it within a fraction of a second that we call it as a action potential now duration of the action potential in case of skeletal muscle it is about 0.5 millisecond that of say duration of action potential in smooth muscle is more than 1000 millisecond and that of say cardiac muscle it is about say that is the 300 millisecond or many of the times you will find that literature describes it that is more than 300 millisecond they from now skeletal muscle also follow all or none law that is obeyed as a single unit then smooth muscle also obey the all or none law as a single unit but however this all or none property in case of cardiac muscle that is obeyed as a whole that is entire cardiac muscle stru structure that is contract synchronously at once due to the functional sensitivity now the very important aspect about their say that is about the structural property of course that is the diameter of say skeletal muscle is about 10 to 100 micrometer length is that is say, that varies from 1 mm to 30 cm and in case of smooth muscle the diameter is 2 to 10 micrometers and the length is about 220 to 500 micrometer and in the case of cardiac muscle you will find its diameter is about 15 to 20 micrometer and its length is about 100 to 150 micrometer now we will come across the one of the important say that is characteristic of the cardiac muscle the intercalated disc now this why this intercalated disc is present in the cardiac muscle that because these are the zones of low resistance low resistance in what they give easily conduction or they conduct the electrical impulse across the cell without minimum resistance and hence they are called as the intercalated disc now this intercalated disc what happens here adjacent myocytes are attached end to end by intercalated disc they are present at z lines of the sarcomere and can be observed at a longitudinal section of the tissue intercalated disc consist of three types of cell junction most of which are found in other tissues besides cardiac muscle what are they that is adherence junction 
विच एंकर एक्टिन फिलामेंट टू साइटोप्लाज ऑफ कार्डियोमायोसाइट नाउ वी नो दैट देर इज द अदर टाइप ऑफ सेल जंक्शन वॉट वी कॉल इट डेस्मोजोम्स विच बाइंड एडेजन प्रोटीन टू द साइटोस्किलिटन विद इन सेल्स दस कनेक्टिंग द सेल्स Similarly, there also exact exist that is the gap junction which connect proteins to the cytoplasm or different cells and transmit action potential between both cells. They are required for cellular depolarization. It is found primarily in the nervous and the muscular tissue. Under light microscopy, what we observe is that intercalated discs appear as thin lines dividing adjacent cardiac muscle cells. and running perpendicular to the direction of that is the muscle fibers so just give a look here you will find that say the various types of say that is cell connections that is that is coming to the intercalatic disc now say it is nothing but what we observe here say that is the it is a gap junction connecting here is opposing plasma membrane and similarly Say that is the desmosomes are also shown. After studying the differential properties of cardiac muscle as compared to the other two muscles, there is very interesting fact about say that is the uh, skeletal muscle that we call the tetanus. Tetanus is what? It is a a continual state of say contraction. I will not go in that many details, but however, just remember here these say cardiac muscles are. not thrown or they do not exhibit the property of tetanus why do the presence of that is the long refractory period now just for your information you may come across such type of the patients say uh, that is the who suffers from tetanus that is the overall picture is say that is of a funny individual you will find that say mainly there is a lock jaw then there are the these are the various say that is the characteristics okay and that is you will find that here what we call the say sensorium mean that the entire sensory apparatus of the body is here that is affected then you can see the say such type of a patient now this condition is very rare to observe nowadays due to the medication then coming to the types of cardiac muscles now as i already told you they are divided into categories depending upon their functionality we call it as them as a first type as a working muscle or contracting muscle second the muscles of conducting system what does it mean it means that they have the ability of impulse generation a second that is the conducting muscle I mean what does it mean the muscles which are involved in the say contraction of the myocardium we call it as a working muscle or the contracting muscle and those muscles which are related with the electrical property of the heart we call them as a muscle of conducting system that is first type is impulse generating what we call it the pacemaker cells and second is the conducting muscle one interesting thing is that here say that is about atrial and the ventricular muscle or myocyte they fire action potential but do not have that is the pacemaker activity as this property is very commonly observed in the say frogs heart then here say coming after coming to say that is a very interesting property of the heart is that is the action potential now here say cardiac action pattern potential are different means you will find that say that is what we call it as a them as a non nodal or non pacemaker action potential and the pacemaker potential the first type that is non nodal or non pacemaker action potential sometimes referred to as fast response action potential are characteristic of atrial and the ventricular myocytes and the fast con conducting purkinje system in the ventricles these action potentials have a true resting potential and followed by a fast depolarization phase and a prolonged platy phase as shown in the following figure now what you will observe here see this action potential is very unique in case of the cardiac muscle generally uh, i think i am having that uh, slide with me uh, just uh, give a look here 
Yes. Now you can observe here that is, this is the action potential which are observed in the three types of the muscle: skeletal muscle and nerve means that is skeletal muscle and smooth muscle and the cardiac muscle. What you will find? Now you can see in this figure, just I have mentioned here, the all say that is the this muscle show different types of that is the action potential. They are having the different shape, they are having different forms. For example, that is this action potential is recorded in the skeletal muscle and now it is a spike type of action potential. Now here, say resting membrane potential in this case of the skeletal muscle, it is shown here, it is minus 90 millivolts. And when stimulus is applied, there occurs a change in the resting membrane potential of the membrane. And we will find that this action potential, there are two phases of action potential, what we can call it a depolarization followed by repolarization. Now you can see here, this upstroke indicates here that is the depolarization followed by the repolarization. This activity occurs say within very short time, that is approximately you may say that is about say 5 milliseconds. But however, in case of say that is a cardiac muscle, you will find that here say this action potential is having longer duration. Other important thing is that now just give look to the action potential which is recorded in the skeletal muscle. What you observe? It shows the resting membrane potential of minus 90 millivolts. And when stimulus is applied, say it moves to the or changes to the towards the positivity the value of that is the plus 40 millivolts My overall change is about say that is 130 millivolts approximately but however now coming to the cardiac muscle action potential it is not spiked up of course now what you will find that it also shows the phase of say depolarization upstroke and followed by that is the repolarization but here say remember the phase of repolarization occurs after a long time and that's why Say it records a, a plateau or the plane surface in the action potential. And hence the action potential which is recorded in the cardiac muscle, it shows here the plateau that also observed up to certain extent in smooth muscle. And here we observe a plateau in the say, action potential of the cardiac muscle. Now compare this with the skeletal muscle. What do you observe? That is the resting potential in case of that is our resting membrane potential in case of that is the cardiac muscle is about minus 80 millivolt that of say that is the smooth muscle it is a minus 60 millivolt so what does it mean what does it mean when the resting membrane potential is less mean they require a minimum threshold for stimulus now just observe here the change which is occurring here say in the cardiac muscle the resting membrane cha potential changes from minus 80 millivolts to approximately say that is a plus 20 millivolts. Overall change is that is about say that is a 100, 100 millivolts. And in case, case of smooth muscle, what do you observe? The resting membrane potential is about minus 60 millivolts and it remains all the time below say that is the say that is the zero potential line. Now what does it mean? It means that the change is of only say 20 millivolts is produced. Why it is so in this case? That is the cardiac muscle and the smooth muscle because because now they are autorhythmic and they have to be all the time stimulated again and again and that's why this is the difference between the action potential of the skeletal muscle. It is spike type in the skeletal muscle and that of cardiac muscle and the smooth muscle. There this say depolarization is there and repolarization occur after a prolonged time hence in the cardiac muscle it require records a uh, what we call it as a plateau in the say that is the uh, in the action potential of cardiac muscle give a look to the action potential which is recorded in the cardiac muscle now what you observe here that is as usual it shows say phase of deep depolarization followed by fall in the say depolarization and the prolonged phase of that is the repolarization or you may say that repolarization occurs after some longer duration. Now as usual you will find that say its resting membrane potential in this figure is shown as minus 90 millivolt. Some of the books quote here say minus 80 millivolt doesn't matter. As usual say in the action potential of cardiac muscle there are all the time four phases. That is the four phases 
the phase one that what we call it as that is now starting phase one means that is beginning from phase zero phase of depolarization then it is say followed by say there is slightly fall in the phase of depolarization then a plateau phase and fall in the say that is membrane potential that is beginning of say that is the what we call it is a repolarization and it just here maintains a normal say that is the stage of repolarization now here our normal value of that is the repolarization you can say in other words now there are four phases now what are, what are the changes which are produced in short during this all phases now say when stimulus is applied here you will find phase that is say zero or that is our phase the stage one that this is the phase of depolarization and due to the influx of the sodium ion that you know that there occurs there occurs the phase of depolarization now after reaching to the say value of plus 20 millivolt there you will find slight fall in the say that membrane permeability to the sodium ions and there you will find a fall in the membrane potential means at this stage that is the sodium channel close and this is the phase that is phase 2 where you will find there occur, occurs opening of the calcium channels and the first potassium channels are closed what is that we will see very shortly then in the stage 3 now this phase 2 is say that is caused due to the say that is the slower conduct con that is uh, conductivity or slower permeability of say calcium ions across the say that is the cell membrane and that's why the this phase in the action potential of the cardiac muscle is produced and in the phase 3 that is the beginning of the phase that is the phase of repolarization what you will find that now calcium channels close and there occur the opening of slow potassium channels and here as we know when there is the outflux of the say potassium ions or say increasing the permeability of say potassium ions what happens that is nothing but beginning of the repolarization and a stage comes where it reaches to the is the resting say that is the potential and you can see here the overall duration is approximately we say that 100 to that is the 300 that is the millisecond from starting from the changes of say that is 0 millisecond and ends at 300 milli 300 millisecond now this is the say a brief idea about say action potential which is produced in the cardiac muscle now i will touch here one important point that is the nodal action potential I mean, these are the action potential which are produced by pacemaker of the heart as we know there are how many pacemakers are there in the heart first is the sa node then that is the av node then bundle of fees and, and that is the say uh, i mean these are the main say that is the pacemaker now up to certain extent the Purkinje fiber also has the ability to generate these impulses means here now this nodal action potential or pacemaker action potential sometimes referred to as slow response and action potential are characteristics of the action potential which are found in the sinoatrial node and the atrioventricular node these action potentials display automaticity or pacemaker activity and therefore undergo spontaneous depolarization their depolarization phase is slower and they have shorter action potential duration than non-nodal or fast response action potential further you will find that they have no phase of of action potential that is phase one or that is the phase two mean they have only say that is the phase 0 3 and 4 and they and that is the meaning here they do not have the phase 1 or phase 2 now what is that just uh, uh, i will show you you can see the action potential which are recorded in the say that is the different parts of the heart now you will find that say just uh, say non nodal action potential what you will find that that is in the 
that is say atrium then ventricle and that is the say that is the Purkinje fibers what you will find that say plateau is recorded and however in case of say the pacemaker action potential you will find say that is the action potential slightly different you will find SA node there is a upstroke followed by that is the downstroke phase of depolarization followed by slow say that is phase of repolarization which is observed in the SA node AV node okay and here you will find based on speed of upstroke that is depolarization action potential are characterized as slow slow action potential which are present in the SA and the AV nodes and the fast action potential say depending upon in depending in the structures like that is the atrial myocyte, Purkinje fibers and ventricular muscle. Now this figure shows here say that is the different types of the action potential which has recorded in the different structures of that. Now just say concentrate here that is on the SA node, AV node and that is say bundle of fees and that is the rest of the structure what you will find that the SA node and the AV node see the typical action potential they are having the slow action potential and in the say slow means they are called as a slow action potential depending upon that is the speed of the upstroke now in case of say that is the atrium ventricle Purkinje fibers and the bundle of fees the upstroke is rapid and these are called as a rapid action potential. Now you can see the plateau is recorded in the bundle of his Purkinje fibers, ventricles and that is the atrium. Now in short say based on speed of upstroke that is the depolarization action potentials are characterized as slow which are present in SA and the AV nodes and fast action potential which is present in the atrial myocyte Purkinje fibers and that is ventricular muscle. Now just we will try to summarize here say now if you remember while studying the action potential in the say, skeletal muscle we have come across the resting membrane potential how it is recorded we know that there is a one extracellular electrode and the intracellular electrode and that records the resting membrane potential as minus 90 millivolts and that is that uh, such type of a membrane is called the polarized membrane. What are the changes which are produced while recording the resisting membrane potential it is shown here then action potential how do we record action potential there is a stimulating electrode and the recording electrode that is which records the action potential in the oscilloscope and here you will find that that is say the typical pattern of the action potential in this case of skeletal muscle or no it is spike type of the action potential similarly how do we define action potential? Action potential is defined as the sequence of rapid changes occurring in membrane potential lasting for fraction of a second followed by its immediate return to its resting well. The sequence of the rapid changes occurring in a membrane potential lasting for a fraction of a second followed by its immediate return to its resting well means there are two phases of the action potential that we know that is the depolarization and the repolarization. When depolarization occurs, say within a fraction of a second, and it is in it returns to the it's the normal value or it's the resting value, what we call it as a resting membrane potential. Similarly, I have just discussed this figure. If you remember, remember that is the action potential which are recorded in three types of the muscle. It is spike tau of the action potential, the skeletal muscle, and the now and that of the smooth muscle and the cardiac muscle we will find that they show here prolonged phase of say that is the uh, action potential and here you will find repolarization occur after longer time and hence just try to understand here that depending upon the duration of the action potential that skeletal muscle skeletal muscle they are having a say the shorter say duration of the refractory period and in case of these two types of the muscle they are having a longer duration of refractory period okay now let us study here afterwards that is the the ionic changes which are occurring in the production or genesis of this plateau in the action potential in the cardiac muscle in the next lecture thank you for watching